Australia, a land rich in minerals. Mining booms have made major contributions to our economic growth. But we have a problem. The amount of money being invested in Australia for exploration is plummeting. Which is a disaster for us because it means that the world is looking at Australia and thinking that it is mature and not prospective. In reality, we barely cracked the surface. Australia's resources industry is based on research conducted in the 19th and 20th centuries. Around 80% of Australia remains underexplored. So, is it worth the effort? Consider this. We are going to need, over the next 15 years, as much copper as we've used in the whole of our past. Generating electricity using renewables such as wind or solar requires four times as much copper per unit of energy as conventional fossil fuel processes. And copper isn't the only mineral in hot demand. New technology has increased the need for rare earth metals. Take neodymium, for example. It drives the speakers in the world's three billion smartphones. Without it, your favorite music would sound quiet and tinny. So we know there's demand for what lies beneath the surface. Uncovering it requires us to transform our understanding of Australia's geology. And that's where science comes in. We are able now to be able to identify the scientific research and that we need to do to generate the knowledge that will make a real difference, make it really possible for explorers to be successful in looking for minerals in the covered areas of Australia. Probing the earth will require new sensors, new technology and enormous number crunching supercomputers. But the payoff could be huge. We're talking about a trillion dollar prize. Are we going to be importing that? Or are we going to be finding it for ourselves and exporting it? A trillion dollars. That's enough money to build the proposed Western Sydney Airport 142 times. We have the know-how and we have the plan. Now is the time to uncover Australia's mineral wealth for our future wealth.